This is Marcus Corval with MMA Nut and Studio MMA, and we're here at Dynamics Mixed Martial Arts in Santa Monica with Vlad, the janitor, Matachenko. Just got done training. How are you feeling, Vlad? Feeling a little tired, but uh, that's what it's supposed to be after training, but feeling good otherwise. Uh, you're actually fighting a, an opponent from my home country, Sweden. Uh, I'm only half Swedish, so don't worry, I'm half Polish as well. Uh, and uh, you have, in your training camp here, you got some true experience uh, against Alexander Gustafsson in uh, Jared Hammond, who already fought Alex. Uh, do you feel that helps? Does it, does it, do you look at previous fights a lot, or do you just follow your own thing? Yeah, definitely. Uh, Gustafsson is that kind of guy. You need to look. He's very specific with his punches and uh, with his ground game, too. So uh, definitely in this case helps. Sometimes it doesn't really matter for you know for in preparation for certain fights but uh, for this one definitely have to have to look for his previous fights and uh, his technique um, you were previously set to fight uh, and uh, due to an injury uh, Alex ended up fighting Matt, ha Matt Hamill and actually retired Matt Hamill do you feel that's more of a similar fight to the type of fight that you would look to fight obviously Hamill being a, a great wrestler as well uh, no definitely uh, <laughs> would like to be better with my distance with him. Obviously, he's got a long reach, and uh, if it's available, be on the top of him and uh, and finish finish quickly. Uh, talking about finish quickly, I was in Toronto uh, watching you knock uh, uh, your opponent out in was it 22 seconds? Yeah, uh, 20 seconds, and uh, yeah, it was pretty quick. And uh, and I'm not against the long fights. It's pretty. Uh, how can I say? <coughs> it's a great way to win, but also the longer you fight, the potential for injury or potential for losing it's always there. The danger is always there. So if you can eliminate that, uh, that's great. Uh, obviously, coming from an amazing uh, wrestling pedigree background, uh, you work here with Anthony Hardonk, one of the best Dutch kickboxers around in, in the heavyweight division. Uh, is that something you spend extra time on your stand-up working with Anthony? Uh, that was. That wasn't just a quick knockout. That was a well-delivered left uppercut that we saw in Toronto. Yeah, I was definitely working with uh, with Anthony for a long time, and I was definitely happy to f finish with knockout like that because I was training for a long time and have no chance to uh, show it in actual fight. And you know, so, so many opportunities you have. It's only twice or three times a year, and that's all you have. And uh, sometimes you finish in different manner, but uh, I was definitely happy with my performance last time. And so was the UFC. You got the knockout of the night, right? No, I didn't get the knockout of the night. Uh, oh. Leota Machida stole it from me. Yeah, sorry. Yes, 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 of course, with the, with the front kick to, to Randy Couture's uh, face. Uh, but up until that point, it looked like you were going to get the knockout of the night. Yeah, I, was, I was hoping for that, but, <laughs> but oh well, next time. Um, personally, I really opened my eyes to John Jones when you fought him. I've trained with you in the past. As I know the wrestling background you come from. Anyone in Southern California knows how amazing your wrestling is. Uh, but when I watched your fight with John Jones, I, I realized what a, what a specimen he was. Uh, what does John Jones bring to the table and uh, make him such a, such a great champion for you that have been in there with him? Well, first of all, he's a great athlete. He's got a long reach. You, you will see its tendency right now for the fighter in general like that. You can see Anderson Silva. You can see John Jones. They're kind of similar in a way. Uh, John St. Pierre, they're using distance well, but it also it's not just a great athlete, it, he can use it as well too. There's a lot of good uh, gifted guys, but they don't use it, and like for instance, Jake, Sh Jake Shields, I think he could be better because he's height and tall, but he doesn't use it as much as John John does, and he does his homework well and, uh, and showed in his performance. You're one of the veterans in the sport, and uh, you've been around for, for a while. Are you... Uh Looking to do a round of couture? Are you planning to be in the game for a lot longer? What else is out there for you? I know you have your own gym as well uh, down in Torrance, right? Uh, yes, Redonda Beach right now. I moved from El Segundo to Redonda Beach. And, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> being Randy Couture, I'm taking one fight at a time. This that kind of game it can end any time. So I'm not going to say, well, I'm going to stay for another five, ten years. But, you know, for right now, I'm looking for my next fight. And then after that, it will be my next fight. Good luck on November... Uh, December 30th. Look how uh, look how informed I am. <laughs> December 30th in Las Vegas. Alexander Gustafsson from Sweden versus Vladimir the janitor Matachenko. And uh, look for Vladimir as well online. They can find you on Twitter at uh, the janitor, right? Vlad the janitor, yep. All right. Good luck, Vlad. See you in the gym.